Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today we're looking at double-digit subtraction. We have a way of doing this. It's called an algorithm. Now, the best thing to do when you start out is to rewrite whatever you're subtracting vertically. So let's do that. So I'm going to rewrite my 77 minus 29 like this. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you get your ones digits lined up and your tens digits lined up. That way you'll be sure you're doing the right thing. So let's take a look. Now first, let's just look at the ones column. It looks like I'm doing 7 minus 9. Any time that you're doing this and the number on the top is smaller than the number on the bottom, you have to do what's called borrowing. So here's how that works. I'm going to actually borrow 10 from my tens column and put it over here. So instead of 7, I'm going to take 1 away from that and call it 6. And then I'm going to borrow 10 and put it in the 1's column. So what I actually have here then instead of 7 is 17. 17 minus 9 is 8. Now let's look here. I have, instead of 7, I have 6 minus 2, which is 4. And that's 48. So 77 minus 29 is 48. Now, if you're not sure if you got it right, you can always add these two together and you should get 77. That's a good way to check. So let's take another look at it with maybe three digits. Let's say we have 106 and let's subtract 29 from that. And again, make sure that you have your ones digit lined up, your tens digits lined up. If you have hundreds digits, make sure they're lined up. Okay, so it looks like we're trying to do six minus 9. And since this number is smaller than that number, we're going to borrow again. So we go one column over and see if we can borrow 10. So we look here and we don't have anything. We have a 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow from this column and then change this number here and then borrow from this column and change this number here. So let's go one more column over. Instead of a 1, we're just going to make this a 0. And then we're going to make this, instead of a 0, a 10. Now, I really am trying to borrow into my 1's column. So now I've got 10 in my 10's column, let's borrow. So I'm going to take 1 away from it. So instead of 10, this becomes a 9. And instead of a 6, that becomes a 16. So now let's subtract. 16 minus 9 is 7. 9 minus 2 is 7. So 106 minus 29 is actually 77. I know it looks a little messy, but it's actually really quite simple. Anytime this number is greater than the number below it, you just borrow 10 over from one column to the right. And if you don't have anything there, you go one column to the right and you borrow again. It takes a little practice, but don't worry, it's actually really easy. And that's how you do double digit subtraction. Thanks for learning with me today. If you want to know more about any of the topics we discussed, click on the links. And if you liked our videos, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any specific requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.